but I'm going to give you my three favorite costochondritis exercises. Hello folks, Dr. David Cullah here with Synergy Wellness Chiropractic and Physical Therapy. Today I'm going to go over my three favorite exercises for costochondritis. I've been getting uh, so many requests for this video. Um, I did another video, 22 exercises for costochondritis. I know it's a lot. So somebody had asked me to pick out my three favorite most effective because all of those exercises really they're meant to keep you busy and not get you bored. So you can pick the first five or six, go through them, then do that for maybe the first month, then go through the next five or six, go through those and then so on, and then pick out your favorite ones from the 22. But I'm gonna give you my three favorite costochondritis exercises. The first one, which is not on the other video. Okay, ready? The first one is called ART or active release technique. And many of you have heard, this is a really, really great myofascial technique. You can do the same thing lying down or standing or sitting. What you're gonna do is, you're gonna take your three fingers or four, and you're going to grab right where the front of the armpit is or the crease there where your shoulder is and pull down towards your nipple. Okay, and then you're going to take your arm in this position and take your right arm and put it on your left hip and you're just going to raise it up like that. And then you're going to let go. You're going to put the arm back here in this position and then you're going to do, you're going to grab with your fingers and pull. So you're going to grab onto the tissue, pull down towards the nipple and maintain a strong pressure while you raise your arm up like that. And you can see me wincing. It hurts. It's a little sore. Okay, we all use our chest muscles more than we're using our back muscles. So just from holding arms out to use our cell phone or different equipment, I'm a chiropractor obviously, so I'm using my hands all day long. So I do some chest stretches. I'm gonna show you again another one of my favorite ones, but this is the best one. So again, you're gonna take your right hand, put it on your opposite hip, and you're gonna take now instead of here, remember how before I had you take a tissue pull from the corner, from the crease in your shoulder? This one, you're gonna go up higher, right? And you really can't go wrong. As long as you're on your chest muscle here, you're fine, okay? You are not gonna hurt yourself. You don't wanna hook up on top of your clavicle. That's not gonna do any good. You wanna go below your clavicle here, your collarbone, below it. And again, you're gonna grab the tissue right below the clavicle and you're gonna pull down. See how I'm pulling downward this way towards the floor? And then with the hand, I'm gonna go like this. And I'm gonna do two or three, I let go. I'm gonna do another tissue pull and then raise the arm up over my head. And again, you can do this while you're lying down and a tissue pull and like that. And then you're gonna see me go over to the middle of the chest muscle and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna grab the muscle and I'm gonna pull it down and maintain a strong pressure. And oh, while I do this. And then when you, Release the arm, you're gonna release both hands and just drop them down, tissue pull, raise the arm, release both hands, drop the arm down, tissue pull again, and raise. And honestly, if you do three to five, three to five arm swings for each spot, for each area, that should do the job. If you have chest pain or rib pain on the opposite side, you should do the same thing on the other side. And if you don't feel a little bit of soreness or if it's not hard for you to raise your arm all the way up to the top, then you're not pulling and not applying enough pressure with your fingers. I would say it's about five to 10 pounds of pressure, give or take. There you go, okay. That is my number one favorite stretch for costochondritis. The second favorite stretch I have for costochondritis you can go on a door, you can do it in a corner. It's better if you do it in the corner or in the door jam. I'm gonna use the corner of this computer. I don't recommend that you use the corner of your computer because it's gonna fall off your desktop. This thing is, um, is attached to a, uh, a stand. So we're just gonna put the elbow in here and step forward and stretch the same muscle, the pec muscle. Okay, and 
this is a really important muscle to stretch for costochondritis. That's why I'm giving you two of my favorite stretches being in the chest area, the pec major and pec minor. So this stretch here stretches the pec major. The pec minor goes underneath and that pulls your shoulders down and forward. So in order to stretch the pec minor, you want to raise the elbow above shoulder height up here and stretch. So like this. Again, I want you to use a door jam, go inside of a, you know, the, the door and use the side of the door and step through the door. In the other video, I did show you how to do this one. And you're gonna raise that elbow up about an inch or two. And when you stretch forward, you're gonna feel it stretching more underneath here. That's okay, that's normal. Now, that's the second stretch for costochondritis. And third, and definitely not least, my all-time favorite for costochondritis for anyone with a stiff upper back or upper back pain in between the shoulder blades. Remember, your ribs attach to your breastbone. We just stretched the, the pec muscles in the front where the ribs attach here. Now we're gonna go all the way to the back because these ribs go under the armpit and wrap all the way around and attach to our spine. So we're gonna use this lacrosse ball. You can buy these on Amazon for five, six bucks, maybe 10 bucks and take this ball and we're gonna put it right in the back here. And I've done some videos with this stretch. Uh, I did it where I showed on a glass window so you could see where I'm putting the ball. But I'm gonna show you in a little uh, split screen right here, how and where you're supposed to put the ball. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna cross your arms in front of you. By doing that, that pulls your shoulder blades out laterally and opens up the space in here between the spine and the uh, inside of your scapula. And there's just a thin band of muscles in there, mostly rotator cuff muscles, but also some back muscles. So we're gonna go here, I would go on the side uh, where you have most of your costochondritis pain. So here it's on the left side, and I'm crossing my arms in front of me, pulling my shoulder blades out of the way. And all you're doing here is just a shallow squat here, okay? And you'll do that for a minute or two. If you do it more than a couple minutes, it's gonna be really, really sore. It's like a deep tissue massage. This is crucial to getting through costochondritis pain because you have to loosen these muscles up in the back so that you can get more freedom of motion in the ribs in the front, okay? A lot of times, people with costochondritis have really, really tight middle back muscles in between the shoulder blades, rotator cuff muscles. So mostly I'm going up and down. There's not much side to side here because you don't wanna roll the ball over your spine, just on the side of your spine in between or in the, um, on the inside of your shoulder blade. It should not touch your shoulder blade. Again, it should be between your spine and the medial portion of your shoulder blade. And you're gonna do that for a minute or two. Don't do more than that and, and work your way in slowly. And then you just lower the ball. And really you can do all the way down to the middle back right here where your ribs stop, okay? But we wanna get down to at least right about here, okay? And then we're gonna to go to the other side. If you don't have costochondritis pain on the other side, this is still a great stretch to do on both sides. And you can see I'm just doing a shallow squat here and you can feel some crunchies there and the muscles are a little tight. On this side, it's a little bit tighter for me. And again, two to three minutes in each spot. And then after you do that, you're gonna take the ball and you're gonna lower it an inch and then do that spot. Again, you can go all the way down to your mid back. So these are my three favorite stretches, the three best stretches for costochondritis. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to comment below. I'd be happy to answer any of those questions you might have. Now we do this with adjusting of the thoracic spine and of the ribs, and also in severe cases, we use cold laser therapy. Thanks for tubing in.